So when you talk about software development, what do, what do you mean by prioritization here in the software development? It could be about the features, it could be about the technologies, about the people, the skills that you need on board, uh, the kind of uh, direction, again, you need to take for this, for this particular software, um, whether it's a mobile application, a website, web application, whatever it is that you're developing, right? So you need to take that call. So in that context, if you really look at it, we used to have, I, I think I told you about this before as well, that um, as a B, I used to actually write hundreds and thousands of uh, pages of requirements document at one point of time. This is not even too long ago. I think it was about uh, 12, 12 years ago, 12 to 15 years ago. Um, that was when I used to write just as a functional requirement specification document. Uh, it used to go into like 500, 600 page documents, you know, spending six months. And to go through all those you know, pages, do you think the developers would actually have the patience and the energy to actually go through each and every page of that detailing of that documents? No. And that's where most of the software projects and the waterfall failed because either the requirements were not clear, requirements were not clearly communicated, requirements were not managed well, the changed, but then the, the change was not updated into the document because it's so cumbersome to actually go through all those 500 page requirement document to understand which one was changed. So that's where I think we need to, there's a big, big um, vote owners, there's a big, um, you know, kind of drive to go in terms of agile. So in the context of software development, that would translate in the form of, let's say, user story. So that huge 500 page document sifting through that and then deciding what is important, what's urgent, is so, so, so cumbersome, so difficult, such a huge task to actually do that compared to, let's say, pick up a user story right on the back of this particular, let's say it could be written on the back of the, the, the this index card is what I was saying the last time around. So you could actually take it and then I can write a user story here as a user, I can do this so that I can get this benefit. I would like to do this so that I get this benefit. So you write this here and you prioritize your work on this and that would enable the conversations and the confirmation and so on and so forth, right? So the shift from the huge, the humongous documentation to the lightweight documentation of a user story on the back of a card, that's the major shift. That's the reason why we need to really appreciate um, the importance of prioritization. That shift actually kind of enabled the teams to do this prioritization before it was not the teams, it was not the development, it was not the programmers who estimated, it was not them who prioritized, but not them who delivered or who owned the delivery. It was always somebody else. It was a business or the project manager or somebody else or the customer who actually kind of estimated, they gave when this should be done. They actually you know, dictated by what time, how much time you should spend, how much of effort you need to spend as a team. And they were the people who actually kind of putting things on, they were pushing it. Whereas here with the agile development, it's the pull. It's the, it's the opposite of that. They're empowered. The team is empowered to be able to do the estimation themselves. They do the estimation. They commit to the estimates. They actually work on that. They prioritize their own tasks and they deliver and they own the whole delivery. If there is any problem, the team owns up. And then they actually again work to fix the defects and the issues, right? So with the agile, you need to understand that there is a total shift of focus and shift of uh, the way we work in terms of prioritization as well. 